Hi, and welcome back to Thai TV. I'm Niklas Bauer, and today we are going to show you how to make a Bauer pike rig uh, and kind of general things about how to rig your wiggle tails. So the first thing is we, what we're going to do is we're going to make these Bauer pike rigs that you can buy like this, but you can also, also make them. You can click the original video down here or maybe down here somewhere. Uh, you can see how it was made uh, the first time we filmed it. But now we're going to use it, we're going to make it a little bit different and we're going to make it so it's more suitable for wiggle tails. So what we're going to use to make it is this 60 pound titanium wire. That's uh, what we've been using the whole time. Uh, you don't want to go lower because then you're going to have a problem with the back hook kind of leaning backwards like that. What you want to run is around 20 to 22 centimeters of uh, titanium wire like that and then um, so for you guys who doesn't know what titanium is it's kind of a material whatever you do with it like that it still kind of becomes straight when you when it goes back to the normal shape it's a really really cool material and it's really durable for this stuff so we're gonna use that we're gonna use the partridge intruder this is the size 1, but you can play around in size 1 to up to a size 2.0, depending on how big tails you're going to have in the, in the back of it. But this is just a general information for you guys. The hook, the last one. And then we're going to run the Partridge Standard Universal Predator 4X, or 4.0 actually, not 4X, but 4.0. And this is the normal wire. And I think it's really suitable for this because it's not too heavy, so the tube flies doesn't lean back like that. So what we're going to run here is we're, we're going to have a, a normal bead. This is just a fluorescent bead. It's around two millimeters. This is going to prevent the uh, wiggle, ca wiggle tail from moving too much. And also we're going to have a fast attachment clip. This is two, so you can be able to change the tails. And we're going to run a rattle. This is called the Bauer Power Rattle. This is so everybody can hear it coming. So this is basically what, what, what we're going to put in this rig. So to start out with, we put this small hook in the vise. This is a little bit different way of how I used to do the, the normal Bauer Pike rig because I don't want to have too much materials back and forward. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. So what you do is you kind of put some glue here onto the hook and you put some thread on it and we take that off. So we take this titanium wire here and we push this fast attachment clip onto it. This is the size zero. And we're going to double it to have those ends nice and tight. We put that bead on. We pull that bead all the way down, tight to the fast attachment clip, like that. And then we loop this through the eye here. And then we just want to have this hanging slightly off from the stinger hook here. So we kind of tie this straight down like that. We can actually put it a little bit out, a little bit depending on how you want to do it. And then you really want to tie this tight. Because if you do this slobby or not careful at all, you could actually start losing fish. And this is a rig I like to, to tie this way because it goes fast and it's very simple and it doesn't tangle. But you need to be a little bit careful here because the only thing that this hook is kind of situated with is those thread wraps. But if you get a really big fish on this and it, it's actually pulling these, these thread wraps if they break that, you're still going to pull this wire with this bead and this fast attachment into the eye. So you're not going to lose your fish. But be, pay a little bit of attention here and make it nice and tight and it's going to work 
awesome. So that's basically it, what you want to do there. You just make a whip finish, or what I'm doing here with, a, with my hand, a whip finish. Kind of making that knot, cutting that thread off, like that. And making it nice and secured here with some glue. And this is really strong now. So we take that off from the vise. I don't have anything to hang it to dry, so we'll just put it here for now. And then we take the 4-0 hook, put it into the vise, tighten that, and then we put some glue on the hook again. Go like this. And we put the thread on the hook here. We wrap it nice and even. Cut the existing material off like that. So you have a nice thread base and the thread is really nice and tight on the hook. So we take this stinger here that we had to dry a little bit. Uh, we put this two strands of titanium wire through the loop here and then we are going to have that on an angle like that because then you have much better hooking than if you're having it straight up or straight down so you want to have it kind of offset to an angle like that so you want to make sure that these guys are nice and straight on the top of this like that you hold it and then you wrap the thread here all the way to the back all the way there then we're going to go forward again making it nice and even and then you go all the way through the loop by here and here's a little bit crucial point you need to press this pretty hard like that and tighten the thread underneath like this because otherwise you don't have any space left here in the loop and then you just continue wrapping this over this titanium here and when you come to the point where you cut it off be a little bit gentle because they're usually a little bit sharp so otherwise it's very simple for them to cut the thread and basically now it's done you have the, the stinger hook, you have the snap, you have the bead, you have everything like that. But I would like to add this rattle chamber to it too. So I make it all set like this. And then I want to have this rattle chamber positioned like five millimeters to seven millimeters in from the loop because I want to push this into the tube, you know. So it's important that you have some space here. So you go with the thread and you go a little bit further back. You put some glue here on the rig, like that. And you take this and you first you tie this back part, the section of the back of the rattle here, down. Like that. And I actually usually do it like this. I kind of make a whip finish here and tie that thread off just to make it looking a little bit better so you tighten that put some glue over that well, actually you don't have to do this but i think it looks a little bit better better you kind of put the thread back to the hook again and then you go to the forward part here and you tie this down here. And you're done. Cut that off. And then we just glue the shit out of this one. Cover all the super glue wraps here, or all the wraps of thread here with super glue. So there you have your Bauer pike rig 
uh, with the extension for the wiggle tail and you have your rattle chamber on it too. So now you can just very simple go for your choice of wiggle tail loop it into that and you have an excellent setup. And the wiggle tails of course comes in a whole variety of colors. You can have them custom painted, you can have them badass big, this is the wide ones. You can have them all the way down to some really small ones that are excellent for perch and, and uh, brown trout and stuff like that. But you have to get these onto your flies in some way. And there are different ways you can use. Um, we have something called a hook for tail. It's a, it's a small snap that you tie on here, or you can use these fast attachment clips. It doesn't really matter what you use. You just want to have something that, that makes uh, and connects the wiggle tail to the fast attachment or to your fly, how you choose to make this. But this is a really simple way, and this is one of the versions I use, like to make. You can have this with the snap, if you don't have a snap on the, on the tail, or you can just cut that snap kind of off. So what you do is you kind of just take that part off and you make it looking like that. And th then it looks exactly like the, f the attachment for the tails that's called hook for tails. So we put this into the vise like this, tighten it. Put a drop of glue, like that, and then you just choose whatever color tail you want. Or we can go for a holographic black, this is the slim version. I just like to take them on the inside like this, to give them a little pull so they become a little bit softer. Put the thread on into the into the glue. Just hold that tail over that and kind of nicely just fold it around. Make like a bunch of twists like that, or not twists actually, turns. Just make a simple whip finish knot. Cut that thread off. Put some glue on there. And the connection is made. So we just take your fly or rig or whatever you're going to put it on. You just unhook this. And you hook this to it. And we're good to go. We'll catch a big one.